In April 2015, the journey began. I joined the county government of Kisumu as the minister responsible for communication, information and technology. This has been an exciting journey of the unknown where together with you, we have all managed to chart and scale new heights. This is a thank you. To all of you who have made it possible, for the thousands of residents of the great county. Transforming lives, opening up new beginnings, bringing the world into Kisumu. and proudly showing Kisumu to the world. Contrary to popular belief, everything that you've seen, including successfully putting Kisumu in the news for all the right reasons, has been the result of various discussions supported by the collective and generous support of many faces and organizations that have remained behind the scenes. Their input has materialized into various programs and outputs made available to the public. Over the next few minutes, I will try and recognize all my partners, friends, colleagues, and say thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank Governor Ranguma for availing this opportunity and privilege for me to be the first County Minister of Communication, Information, and Technology. Through this appointment, I have had the extraordinary chance to bring to the fore my previous life networks and enjoyed immensely the new friends and relationships made during this journey of service. This has been a true blessing to thousands of Kenyans who reside in and beyond the great county. I would like to thank my cabinet colleagues, members of the executive, and those in the legislative who chose to support the beliefs of some of my unorthodox approaches. The Transform Kisumu Leadership Platform. You've been so invaluable and you've been so supportive. To my colleagues in my ministry, my foot soldiers hidden in the back, without whom nothing would have come to fruition. These ideas and things would have just remained but ideas on paper. You've been great. I would also like to thank our global roving ambassadors who have generously given to the people of the Lake Region while working pro bono. You each came on board in 2015 and served and helped us craft a new direction, what is known as the Transform Kisumu Initiative, that also accumulated in a four-day gathering in Bellagio through the generous support and funding by the Rockefeller Foundation. The result of this has been the people of the Night of Festival. We were able to showcase Kisumu talent, fully supported by the great team of Triple Edge Media. 
We're also able to open up new partnerships with Classic Molding. And I'd like to thank Diane Moshe for your generosity and for your support to the Lake Region. I knew before that only men can paint, but right now I'm confident that I can also paint better than men. And then of course, the We Speak Code training program for Standard 8 Leavers. I'd like to thank Aquit and especially Anne Karimi, who led the team in Kisumu for the excellent job that we did with the Class 8 Leavers. Now, what we found out that the biggest thing about the program was not even the code skills that we, give, that, that we were actually teaching them, but it was more of the soft skills, more of letting them know that they are people, more of letting them discover who they were, and giving them the faith and the confidence that despite and over the fact that they never made it beyond class eight, they're now able to compete and do the same level of an academic program as somebody who's in university. Homeboys Foundation, you've been in so many ways supportive to so many things involving young people. Mike Rabar, we are grateful to you and your team. Notably, I'd like to give a very special mention to our sister and ambassador for transformative science and urban resilience, Dr. Sheila Ochubuju, who has so given of herself to the people of the Lake Region. Through these partnerships, we have trained and started opportunities for thousands through the Barefoot Digital Youth Squad, supported also by Ford Foundation and DCP Diaspora. We've also had training such as Ajira with the support from the CES, the Honorable Joe Musheru, and the National Ministry of ICT. The accumulation of these initiatives have resulted in about 10,000 people having become digital natives, not just across the county of Kisumu, but in the surrounding regions too. This is how can you use that device that you have, which is your phone and your basic phone, and how do you use that to socioeconomically empower yourself or to improve what you're already doing, whether it's as an informal business or, or what you are doing right now with yourselves. Every single week, we are now able to reach more than 35,000 people through the social media platforms and share with them opportunities and truly changing lives. In 2016, Kisumu was not just mentioned, but had a ranking in the Global Business Doing Report by the World Bank Group. And Kisumu has also been named as one of the fastest growing African cities according to the Euro Monitor African Cities Report of 2017. A major contributing factor to this world recognition has been the automation of our systems. For example, an online e-construction permit system where anybody can apply from anywhere around the world. Our system also integrates with the e-Citizen National Government Portal. I would also like to thank my former colleagues from the World Bank under the leadership of Frank Twagira. And finally, I'd like to give a shout out to all my fellows in the 2015 Rockefeller Social Innovation Program and all the stuff there. You have been supportive and your ideas were great and helped change lives in Kisumu. Finally, I'd like to thank God Almighty. Wow, you rock. You ask, what next? The world 
is at my doorstep. Watch this space. Thank you.